What up, YouTube? This is Lucas here, also known as Pleco. Um, so we're gonna start th this video off with a really quick tutorial on how to get a really quick reflection, just like how this one looks like. Um, I've been uh, this is my first video in a while. I haven't been showing much videos lately because I've been uh, really busy with school, game battles, and just playing Call of Duty and uh, with family and you know Christmas. So. Anyways, I'm back now, and I'm just going to start posting lots of content, and yeah, so, this is how we're going to do our reflection, so just open up, a, just do a new one, I, HD, that's what I do, and type a text or anything or whatever object you want, and I'll get my text here that I made in Cinema 4D just really quick, and, alright, let me position that, okay. So, really easy, um, actually let me rotate this, this doesn't look too, alright, really easy, you either click this little thing, it kind of looks like a thing, a page flipping, and it's actually create a new layer, and you, if you click it right on that, it copies it, so, actually, nope, sorry, I totally screwed up, you drag this to the new layer, so, to copy it and then you see here you got a copy or you can just press alt which is what I do or command on the Mac and then you just drag it down and drag it right beneath it then what you're gonna want to do is go to edit transform flip vertically and then line it up right even and um, Make sure they're almost touching, but not touch. Like they're not touching, but they're really, really, really close to touching. So now what you're gonna want to do is get your eraser tool, and now put the hardness on your eraser eraser tool on zero percent, and then your size can be anything. So anyways, I have a smart object because it's PNG, but um, probably won't happen if you just did a regular text. But anyways, so now what you're gonna want to do is kind of like just fade it out a little bit and take your time with this I'm just doing it quick right now because uh, I just want this to be a really quick tutorial it shouldn't be shouldn't take this long to do this I'm just alright well anyway so now that looks fine you can change it later it might not look good but opacity bring it all the way down to about 20% and then if you want to fade some more you can fade some more. Anyway, so that's basically how it's going to look like. And um, there you go. You got your reflection. I think that looks like a pretty nice reflection. It probably it looks better on black to me. Um, but I didn't put it on black because this text has a black outline. So um, there you go. I have it at 30%, and that's how the nice reflection looks like so thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe